video is all about the addition reactions of alkenes with hydrogen, bromine and water. So let's get started. If we define what an addition reaction is first, so if a reaction is called addition, that means that you take two reactants and you convert it into one product. So you add two things together. What this means is you always only get one product, and that means that there's no byproducts as a result. What you should definitely know is that alkenes always undergo addition reactions. And let's look at some examples of them doing that. Here's ethene as our central molecule, and we're gonna use this as our example alkene today. So ethene can react with bromine, which is Br2, hydrogen, which is H2, or water in the form of steam, which is H2O. In all of these reactions, they all kind of work in the same way, in that the double bond in your alkene breaks open and the two things add on either side. So in the case of the bromine, what happens is the double bond breaks and you get a Br adding on either side where the double bond used to be. Check each carbon still has four bonds and everything is all good. With the hydrogen, the same thing happens. The two H's add on where the double bond used to be. So the double bond breaks to allow the two H's to join on either side. Adding water is a little bit more complicated, just because you've got three things adding on to your alkene. But if you treat this like 1H and 1OH, then you break it apart and you add a hydrogen and an OH group. And this, hopefully, you know is called ethanol. It has two carbons in it, and it's got the OH group, which makes it an alcohol. The thing I made from the H2 is just ethane. It's C2H6. It's just a normal alkane. The one at the top, if you really wanted to name it, is called 1,2-dibromoethane. But I definitely wouldn't worry about that too much. The only one of these you need to know a little bit more information about is the water example. So when you add water, it has to be in the form of steam, uh, which means that water is gaseous, and it also needs a phosphoric acid catalyst in order to make that reaction work. That's in a different syllabus point, but definitely worth mentioning here in case this is the only video you watch. That's all for the addition reactions of ethene. You might want to try and do the same thing, but put propene in the middle and see if you can predict the products that that would make. 